For this video, I'm going to take you on a tour of the Alhambra Villas and Resort located in Point Siena, Florida. So as you can probably tell from this channel, I'm a travel vlogger. I uh, visit a lot of tourist attractions. I'm constantly on the move, traveling to various hotels and resorts. And I was looking for something in the vicinity of Walt Disney World because I'm an annual pass holder and I wanted to go down there to visit uh, for several days. This resort kind of stretches in the vicinity a bit because this is technically about 20 miles from Disney property so it is kind of uh, south in the suburbs and not in the uh, tourist corridors of International Drive or 192. Am I happy I stayed here? Yeah, this place was beautiful. It was uh, basically a converted condo and now is a, uh, a resort of villas and efficiencies. Uh, it's currently managed by Diamond Resorts, and I've always had a great experience every time I've been to a Diamond Resort, so um, this place was incredibly clean and well-maintained. I got a VIP deal on Hotels.com, so you'd be surprised. Even though these are technically, I guess, timeshares, villas, uh, they do pop up on Hotels.com, and the, the rates were just too low for me to pass up. I mean, it was under $40 a night for me to, to get the efficiency. And um, it was beautiful. I mean, for the same price of staying in one of the Roach Motels on 192, I actually stayed at a basically a timeshare, and it was amazing. And they had all the amenities that you would expect a timeshare. They had a swimming pool, shuffleboard, tennis courts, barbecue grills, uh, pretty much anything you would think of. And the rooms were well equipped. They had the microwave, they had silverware, a safe, a coffee machine. And I was only staying in the villa, so I can only imagine what the two-bedroom suites are like. The bathroom was really nice. I mean, they had this really impressive um, Roman-style tub. Uh, didn't have a jacuzzi function. I mean, that's the only oversight that I saw, but um, uh, it still was really nice. I mean, the biggest thing that's holding this particular resort back is definitely the location. It's about 22 miles from the Disney Parks area and even farther to Universal Studios and SeaWorld. This place is located down in the suburbs, although the nice thing about um, where it's located is there are a lot of fast service restaurants nearby, like you could walk to the McDonald's that was right on the corner. There's a Burger King right down the street. Uh, I was getting a bunch of sandwiches at the Wawa and the Dunkin' Donuts, so there's plenty of food nearby, uh, although some of the restaurants will require you to get in the car. The nice thing about this particular resort is it was extremely quiet. You know, the problem that I have usually when I'm staying at 192, being close to the theme parks, is rowdy guests. People usually are screaming or kids are yelling. But uh, this resort was extremely quiet. And um, unfortunately, at 192, the crowd is usually kind of sketchy. I'm going to try to sugarcoat this as nicely as I can. Uh, there are some obvious drug users when you're staying at some of the hotels located on 192. Like the last time I was at the Saralago, you could actually smell a bunch of weed in the hallways and the stairwells. And um, when I was at Fun Spot, you could see a bunch of meth heads walking around. So I didn't experience any of that here at the Alhambra. This place was just upscale and, and nice. So even though I kind of traveled on the cheap, there weren't any situations where I felt uncomfortable whatsoever here. So what's my bottom line for the Alhambra Villas? If you're okay with the fairly long drive to the theme park area, you'll probably have a great time here. It's a really clean, pleasant resort, uh, incredibly well maintained, the rooms are just spotless, um, it's modern and upscale. and Honestly, this would be the absolutely perfect resort for me if this was 10 to 15 miles north of where it is, but even still, if you're okay with, you know, the half hour drive to Disney World, it's fine. Now, I was staying at this resort to go to the theme parks. There are things in Point Siena that you can do instead of the theme parks. For example, there is the Nature Conservancy's Disney Wilderness Preserve that you can explore. That happens to be located right down the street from this particular resort. And that nature preserve is huge. It's uh, 12,000 acres of uh, protected habitat. 
If you like fishing or water sports, uh, Lake Toho is also nearby. You can also get to the Old Town Entertainment District pretty quickly um, by taking the back roads. That's probably only a 20 minute drive versus Disney World, which is 30 minutes. And finally, the Providence Golf Course is only about a 15 minute drive from this resort. And that place is top notch. It's considered the absolute best golf course in all of Osceola County. Thanks for watching this episode of The Adventure Schmuck. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. See everyone next week.